my friends, welcome back to today's video. Today we are going to be talking all about our newest Lisa Elbridge Velveteen Matte Liquid Colors. Matte? Not matte, just liquid colors. And I picked up three shades. Of course, I had to hide the lightest. Fun and Muse are my favorite of her like matte lipsticks. So I had to have, you know, Muse and Fun. So I, that was a no brainer. And then there's this shade Rain, which I'm not sure she has in the bullet lipstick, but it looked precious. So I thought, you know, these are going to be perfect for me. I'm so excited to show what these look like. I've worn them for three days, so I have thoughts. We are going to compare them with Charlotte's uh, liquid lipstick. So I'll share my two cents about that. And of course, we're going to swatch the existing fun in Muse for you and for our entertaining purpose. So these are silky smooth, super long wearing liquid colors in customizable formula with a soft focus matte finish, bringing a playful new twist to the velvet lip experience. The Feather Life formula wraps lips in comfortable even coverage in a nourishing blend of hydrating lip care ingredients. Velveteen allows time for artistry play before setting to a lip flattering finish that lasts all day. And oh boy, aren't these long wearing. So let's begin with fun, which I feel like is the light. I'm dying to show you. You can see that the packaging is frosted. You get at the back velveteen and you get lisa elridge right there you also get her little logo atop as usual and we get these is our dolphin applique these do last six months and they're made in Italy. so let's go ahead and apply fun and these truly remind me of charlotte's because of how you can apply them you can truly just fill your lips with that you know um you know apply a full coat or you can tap it and then get that blurring effect so let's do just a little bit like that all right so you can see that blurred and powdery effect on the lips is just so beautiful. Like, look at the color. This color is perfect. It's truly my lips, but better. I was not disappointed. At this point, it starts to set down. Like, you don't feel it that you can sleep and slide your lips no more. It's truly setting. It's really setting, guys. So now I want to do just a full on code so you can see what it looks like on. And I did not dip into the lipstick, just one dip, and it just took care of the lip, and this is it up close. So now I had time to dry like two minutes and when you go transfer proofed they're not there at all like they're set 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 so that's the biggest difference right off the bat when it comes to Charlotte's because this one will continue to transfer just particularly staying a little bit more just comfortable I would say but you are um you are compromising wearability and longevity you know with a lipstick like this than with something that fully sets like lisa again this is fully set it doesn't really feel hydrating but it doesn't also feel like it's drying out my lips if you know what i mean it's just a very lightweight formula that is there i could feel something very light on my lips 
like I am not bothered by it, you know, I could talk, I could eat, I could sip on water and just feel like I have nothing because it, it is truly, truly light. So that was fun. Let's uh, take it off and let's uh, go ahead and apply Muse. We'll do the swatching at the end. So here, same thing. I'm gonna dot it and then Of course, you don't have to do this, but this is gonna give you the most natural lip, you know, because you're not doing a full on coat. It's gonna look just like, oh, there's something there, but it's so natural, you know? So, this is it. Beautiful. I mean, I love it. I love this shade so much. It's so pretty as well. So now let's do a full on pigment. So this is a closer look at the shade, full pigment. You can see that it is the perfect, just deep, um, nude shade for my complexion. It goes with everything, it's so easy. Right now it's setting down. I'm gonna give it another minute or so to really dry down and we do the kiss test. But this is so pretty, like it really blurs out your lips. It looks very, very, yeah, just blurred out and perfected every single, you know, line on the lips. So that's it. It's all set. Not much transfer, if any. This shade also looks so, so beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah, it is stunning. Let's go ahead and do rain next. Hmm. And this was a little hard to really get off, to be honest. I had to put a little foundation on because you really wanted to linger on my lips. Hmm. The deeper the shade, the more long wearing you're going to get. Let's stop. So this is it set. You can see, no transfer. It's so beautiful. This shade is so, so beautiful. It looks so natural if you really pat it like I did. Now let's go ahead and do full on pigmentation. This is it, closer up, is beautiful. I love this shade as well. Just so fun for summer. It is the perfect coral shade that doesn't really make your teeth look, you know, yellowish or anything like that. It is a beautiful, stunning shade. I'm not sure I love it this much pigment right off the bath. I do love it tapping it because it just looks a little bit more just natural and pretty. But yeah, friends, these are the three shades on me. Now let's move on to swatches. We're gonna do fun first, which is the first one that I applied so you can see fun. Actually, we're gonna do the lipstick next to it. So here is Velvet Fun in the bullet let me just be careful with this because sometimes they break and we don't want that 
So this is it. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know this swatch just dry down a little bit. Now let's go ahead and do Muse beside it and have some glitter on my hands. I was swatching a palette. The YSL, that's the one that I'm wearing, so I have glitter on my hand. Sorry about that. So this is Muse, which is just a little bit deeper. So these are them. We're gonna give it again just another minute or two to just, just, just set, if I can speak. Let's do Rain by the other lipstick. And so these are them. These are little swatches. I mean, the lipstick is lighter for Muse. Fawn is a little bit more similar, but you know, it's just a slight difference. Like the liquid lipstick is more pigmented. I mean, it's deeper the shade, you know. You can see that this is Muse and then this is Muse in the liquid. So yeah, that's the difference that I could spot on. Um, when it comes to the wanted to swatch the ones that I have for Charlotte if you're wondering I've gotten so many compliments about this one which is oh no way let's put it beside it they're similar this guy rain and gross blur I've gotten so many compliments you guys love this guy like the the color love it on me I don't want to swatch the moon because it's really no but then pillow talk let's do pillow talk down there yeah it's similar to it's similar to fun so let's do fun beside it I'll show you in a minute so here at the bottom we have Pillow Talk in her blur, and then we have Lisa's Fun. So they're very, very comparable. Here up there, we have, this is Charlotte's Rose Blur, and then this is Rain by Lisa, and then you already know. So this is the lineup of the shades. They're very similar in tones, the one from Charlotte, very 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 similar but the biggest difference you guys it is that charlottes do continue to transfer throughout the day they never feel like they set so they're not as long wearing with lisa i get a good six to seven hours if i don't eat something very very greasy you know that the shade is much more long wearing than the other one fine so rain and muse do linger a little bit longer because of course they're deeper like a good six to seven hours fun a look a good five hours charlotte's a good three to four you know kind of thing is pretty much charlotte's is a lipstick a matte lipstick in a bullet uh, Lisa's is a liquid lipstick okay so that's that's the main difference um, and that's the friends I hope that the swatching was helpful I hope that you know the comparing the formula was helpful I would love to hear I know a lot of you are very very fans of Lisa let me know if you picked any of them up let me know if I'm missing a must-have shade I don't do red so that's why I, I didn't feel like picking up a red because her reds I never wear they're back there uh, but yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know below, friends. Have you tried these? What do you think of the formula? Any comments? Anything at all? Just drop it below. Let me also know which one was your favorite of the three. Thank you, friends, for watching. I love you all so much, and I'll catch you my next one. Bye.